Good morning. New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. As you can see, I'm still learning my way around this. And Newport is right now mostly our go-to place because it's winter. And I just started this a month ago. In the summertime, we travel more places. But, you know, with my husband working for the post office and I have a back injury right now, we're kind of limited. But I wanted to give you a kind of a bird's eye view of where we stay when we come here. The Embarcadero, which there's the front office right here. Um, that's another condo place right there. But with there, you don't get access to the free crabbing dock down here, which is right through there. But I want to kind of give you a, a glimpse. Here's the bridge. If you go across the bridge, the public dock that you see people over by the brewery, which is over here, is right, not this wall, but I'm going to try to see. I can't zoom in much, but it's right over there. That's the public dock that people can come on, like across the bridge and go down by the brewery, and you can go over there. During extremely low tides, this is a really good place to get cockles because under the bridge you take a rake and the cockles are fairly close to the surface. I've got some pretty big monster cockles under this bridge, but you kind of have to walk down the rocks over there, like right in that area over there. Now over here, I'm gonna zoom out, is the bayfront. So this street right here, if you come out of em Embarcadero, that goes up to the highway, but if you go that way, it'll take you down to, there's a actual commercial dock down there and sometimes you can buy fish from them so you come down and you look at the sign it's not right now in the spring in the summer they sell whole salmon and whole tuna off right off these boats the other way people crab is there is this i think it's like right here there's another youtuber that likes to crab off this dock over here and i'm thinking i'm trying to look but it's right over there so you go down this front street over here, there's a couple places to crab. There's a public pier right over there that people can crab from. It doesn't seem to be as crowded as the public dock, which is across the bridge. But then this dock is private. If you stay, it comes, you get a room key and your room key opens the actual dock. And, you know, sometimes people get in that aren't staying here. But for the most part, that's where the pool is and the hot tub and the sauna. Um, they have quite a few rooms. People do live here, so you need to be respectful because this is where people live. So this is not a party community and you need to be peaceful and quiet. People work nine to fives here. And you know, and there's some of them are rentals, some of them are not. We go through both the Embarcadero and then we use a, a Vacasa is the name of the service that we can go through too. There's like four or five different rooms you can get through Vacasa, maybe Airbnb as well. But we use, we will use that. They do here have a boat rental. It's like a two hour boat rental down in their office, but it all depends on the weather, especially in the winter. As you can see right now, it's super calm, super calm here. The boys are down fishing. If you look at my short, we caught almost 15 rockfish last night and they were pretty decent. It's, there's a lot of technique involved in that. You have to know what to use, how to do it. I mean, you're always, you're, it's almost when you're fishing off this stock for the rockfish, it, you're not trout fishing. You have to fish it like you're fishing for salmon. You got to move about up and down the dock and, and just see what you get. Sometimes you can just cast in and get them. I mean, it really just depends. The herring runs coming in in a couple months. So we'll be up here again to get all of our herring, which is right off the dock. But I just wanted to show you kind of a glimpse of where everybody's crabbing at in this dock. And there's also through this, if you go up here towards the river, about two miles up, there's an RV resort. It's called Sawyer's Landing. They have about three boats you can rent. We went up there and it's, it's pretty beaten up. That that place is pretty run down right now. Um, it the, the dock does not look like it's been updated for a while. There's no place to launch your boat. You can launch your boat here. People launch their boat over here at the public dock. And those are about the only places that I know of to launch a boat through here. But like I said, they have boat rentals here. You don't have to be a uh, you don't have to be renting a room. You can just come rent boats from them, and they also rent crabbing gear. However, they, 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 they rent rings and there's a difference between rings and traps. And if the current's moving pretty quickly, rings can be very difficult because they can be very heavy and the, the crab can float out of them. But anyways, I just wanna say Happy New Year's to everybody and I wanted to give you a perspective view of when we stay here. This particular room is up on the second floor. 
but a lot of the rooms have that. You're right on the bay, so you open up your back door, but every single room in this place, you can see the bay. And the higher up ones, you can actually see the ocean out there too. And the sunset from these rooms is beautiful. So I just wanna say everybody, Happy New Year.